And now he's now he's yeah. still here. Now he's still here, and he's able to to re retribution, retribution for but his fallen brother. Literally. It's gonna be okay, nice team combo oh, to start it so off. Nice. Oh okay, my goodness, they're great start! On fire. They're all these guys are so good. DB and Fiend. I mean, what can oh you say good. about really? players this good really? at this video game? Rujo will not get to hold a weapon for his first stock. Is that what we're about to find out? Uh, things just, are looking that's rough. only because Fiend and okay, DB are too good, I think. This is really biased. <laughs> They're a little too. Biased. Oh my goodness! The Russian mafia from DB. <laughs> it's I'm subtle. not trying. Like I'm genuinely not trying to be biased right it now. It is just, just what's happening. They're, on the They're doing so good at the start. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Sec coming in with a powerful side sig. That side sig. The hammer side sig on Gruagak. Oh yeah, it hits. It hits. It hits hard. You could probably kill on Orange even on this map. Ooh, oh, just sec. outside little of the cheeky. chair. DB. Now nice. he realized he couldn't make it back, and he just fast fell. But Fiend still, still has all three of his yep. socks because he is a legend. A legendary player who will not lose his first stock so easily. Definitely a powerhouse. And then, uh, of course, he's playing the Olgrim. He'll have plenty of movement, plenty okay, of defense, but Rujo gets the recovery. Sack with a good punish. Whoa! Recovery! Oh, that's an early and stock! Sack uh -oh. is going to give his team the lead. Uh oh, DB is down oh, an team entire combo. stock. Oh, he's hitting his teammate. Oh, okay. Slick combo. DB even re grabs. Looking for the KO on Sack. He already burned his dodge, but nobody can get there in time. Sack makes it back, dishes out some damage. DB is being pretty careful, as he should be, I guess. Down to his last stock while everybody's still at two. Fiend with the side air nearly gets the KO, but Sack's still alive. Actually, oh, it got it. And this is one of the few stages where like the platform's small enough and the and the blast zone's wide enough yeah. where sometimes you get knocked out and you 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 literally just can't get you back. just can't yeah. get back yeah. you just don't have enough <laughs> it's not movement. enough usually there's enough in Brawlhalla to make yeah. it back but man that is gonna give a slight lead to the red team but it's all on DB yeah uh oh gonna fall. Fiends out Ooh. and during the two v one can okay. DB survive on the edge Bruce oh! hits the dare. DB he running out of jumps, the recovery. He can still make it. Fiend is trying to he's defend. Gone. He's gone. Oh, wait. He's going to take he's Sack with take him. He's going to take him down with him. What? And now it's all left to Fiend versus Bruxo in the 1v1. The and health it's is so, even. Look at the health. Yeah, it's so perfect. This is a, this is a real sudden death situation. OK, OK. Bruxo's not falling for that. He's, he's too good for that. Good movement coming out from Bruxo. Has plenty of movement speed on this Akuma, but the Sears are hitting. Oh! Ground pound. Dust avoided. Goes high. Oh my goodness. Bruja just goes right above him. Is that it? No, not enough. Bruja without a weapon. Does he have Fiend the movement? Getting he gets ready to finish him off. Steals the weapon, but there's another one. There's another one. And Bruja just grabs it. Fiend looking oh. for the killing blow. Is he trying to get tricky with it? This is now is not the time for style, Fiend. We need Okay, hey, that'll do it, there Fiend. We go. And DB gonna take game number one. 686 damage put out from Woo, Fiend. Fiend with the hard carry. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta tell it like it is, man. He's, he's, he's twice the damage of his teammate. Hey, it's not all always know, about hey, damage, DB's, right? DB is a legend. Is that what I look like? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> like a mirror. <laughs> But I mean, oh, uh, Fiend popped off on that round for sure. Yeah, we can only hope that he that he plays as well the next. And pro <laughs> props to DB for yeah. that down there. He was like, my time is over. <laughs> he knew he was out, but he was like, I'm gonna take someone with me and make sure I don't leave Fiend in the one v two. And that was really well done from him. Fiend able to clutch it. That out was that was sick, out. man. He that was that was. Look at the team damage combined, one point difference. Wait, what are you? Oh yeah, the the damage dealt as a team had a difference of one point between the two teams. Am okay. I right? Yeah, one thousand sixteen. I was looking at the team damage line, and I was like, oh, "No, no, no! I, am right. I seeing the wrong the numbers?" The damage of the team <laughs> is what I meant. <laughs> Are you seeing which weapons people leaned into? A lot of axe play coming out from Fiend. A yeah, lot of Fiend's all about the axe DB. there. Whoa! Yeah. Hi. What's up? <laughs> We're getting right on into game number two. No character comes. swaps just yet from either side, but it will be interesting to see how this plays out, as I doubt we're going back to Shipwreck. No, Mammoth Fortress. Mammoth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Game one went the way of Fiend and DB. What's going to happen next? Because, oh, so you know, it wasn't, it wasn't so cut and dry, right? It came down to a really clutch 1v1. Uh, just pretty different than the... 
than the Power Ranger match, Power Ranger and West match we saw earlier. Yeah, this has uh, definitely been a lot closer, but we're seeing uh, damage being done already onto the blue team. Again, Fiend and DB looking pretty good. Ooh. The neutral sig, not quite enough. But close. Nice alley-oop. DB, he's there when you need him. Ooh, another and down sig. Again, just barely surviving the Gruagok. The defense is just enough. Side air and okay. won't work out this time. They take the lead. And Another again, one, yeah. Fiend with a double knockout. And I'm a juggle. Blue team coming back. Who's the target going to be? Both red team members relatively damaged, but no one quite in that KO percentage as the Nair comes out. Not quite enough. High defense on both red team members. I feel like this is the first time I've seen Fiend play Axe. Am I wrong? Probably Brim. You're right. He played plenty of Brim. Yeah, what am I talking about? Definitely the first time he's played uh, uh, yeah, Ogrim, Ogrim is definitely yeah. a, a bit of a surprise. For <laughs> That's sure. new. Oh, man. And Sat he's not really, I mean, he's doing stuff with the lands, but we can see oh. from the stats in the last one that he was heavily favoring the act. Finishing him off with the ground pound. Feed scores a nice one. Coming in to help his teammate, DB, facing off against Sack. Uh oh. Oh, Bruxo. Nice. All right. Goes for the two hit. Sack. Trying to keep oh, himself in what? this. The side air from Fiend gonna take out the Who teammate, keep the teammate? stock out even. Here's oh, the combo. Man, the sick combo though. Oh, the side sick from Brujo not gonna connect. Okay, just looking at the stocks and health, things are really even. But Sack is kind of in trouble here. Now in red on his final stock, he is the target to take out, and DB is hunting okay, for it. But look what oh. he got him. He, 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 almost, the he almost got knocked out for that. I mean, damage is Ooh. being done. DB's. Oh, man. It's, it's, out. it's like DB versus Sack right now. Like, who goes down first? That's going to make a huge difference here in the outcome of this match. Oh! Wait. Fiend going to make sure everybody okay. goes out. Yeah, everybody. Sack going to fall. All right, Fiend. A GC and life, but he got the wall touch, so he should be good, and Brujo's in trouble. Wow. Nice edge guard by Fiend. Okay, here comes Brujo, and I know it looks bad, but it is not impossible for him to win this. Just considering how damaged they all are. There Neutral goes Fiend. Not he might be enough. able to take DB out right here. He's hunting for it. He DB to. covers himself with the weapon throw. Fiend coming in to protect his teammate. Brujo just trying to mix it up because uh, they obviously know that he is heading over to Brujo. Team combo. Nice. Okay, they, they, that was all improv. Uh, yeah, it definitely looked like improv. DB no, not going to be edge guard so easily. Brujo still looking for the opportunity. Another one. Oh, oh, that was so nice. DB and Fiend take another one. Now up in the set, 2-0. That means they only need to win one more game to move on to loser's final. And right there, you see Sat go for that GC and Sig. I respect the idea because it's like, with the position they were in, he wanted to go for the big play. Hope that he could get a KO, give his team that advantage. But the second he burned that dodge, Fiend took full advantage and punished, and again, being utilizing the fact that in 2v2s, you do less force and damage to your teammates. So he's like, I'll just hit everybody with that side air. I love that when we go into slow-mo, the, the sound down yeah. pitches as well. That's really, that's a nice effect. The, the classic uh, nice. slow-mo, it's probably literally just what happens. Yeah. Because it gets slower. When, we have, when, yeah. when <laughs> we have a Street Fighter character doing a voiceover line in a slow-mo, oh, yeah. it's going to be <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> We just we need the the players to get that combo right. We need just Brujo get that team combo where he has the the voice line in it. Now, in what world did you ever think that Xavier Woods and Akuma would be teaming up together? <laughs> to it, it's definitely a bit of a surprise, but this you know is what? Welcome to Brawl Undertaker's been here. fighting the Undertaker. Yeah. yeah, this is just wild. No Macho Man just yet. I am loving the crossover action of Brawlhalla. It's so perfect for it. All right. Oh my gosh. What? Got the read as well with the second sidelight in there. Great damage being put out. Brujo still Fiend, holding Fiend's it down. He's got a nasty lance. Nice nair. Not quite enough. The side air. Brujo's in trouble. But Sat going to try to get a KO. The side air, not quite enough. Oh, DB's in trouble. Oh, but he gets the chase dodge. So clutch. Fiend was there to help nice. him, and DB didn't even need it. Fiend ends up losing the stock over it. And now here comes Brujo and Sack trying to take out DB. They're so close to it. Brujo barely misses the alley-oop. It's double sword, so it's hard because yeah, he can't DI. They did, they did, did yeah. the double down light, and he was already able to DI, to that, DI out of that pretty quickly. But still good damage, yeah. like really damage good damage. 
still, blue team with that stock advantage. The swap Big overdue. Time. Xavier Woods working out well. This is a different story from the last two games. I'd oh. say connects. Yeah, it's a good way to get back up onto the yeah. stage there. Beautiful dodge from Fiend. Brujo might be in trouble here. He just, I think he just pushed himself into that wall. I don't think that was going to knock him out. But he saw his teammate getting knocked out. And he probably figured, get back get back there with my teammate so he's not 2v1ing these guys. Yeah, got to make sure you keep your stocks uh, in sync because we've seen how well it works out for the other team when you don't oh, put DB with a so target swap. Oh, tricky, swaps. DB. He didn't go for the true combo follow-up. That was too expected. He turned around and got the guy that was getting ready to punish him before he even had the chance. Pretty slick. Oh, snap. Oh, oh what an interrupt what from Sack. What a save. I mean, a beautiful follow-up from Fiend, and then an even better save from his opponents. Sack and Brujo are on top of it. Okay. Oh, oh, Brujo, no. he Brujo, didn't touch. No. Oh my goodness, he just did that to himself. Okay, yeah, okay. well, hey, it might not be. Final stocks. It might not be too much. Eyes on Fiend as he is the most oh, damaged. Yeah, they gotta take Fiend out. That's the only way. Off the side, fire. and he's disarmed. Here's their opportunity. DB is defending him as much as he can, giving Fiend some room to come back to the stage. But my goodness, these guys are relentless. Wait a oh, second. Oh, oh, it's got oh both. Oh my god, what a turnaround. Oh my goodness, they had stage Sack. control forever. Sack. The moment the they get back. The stage spike he touched. Oh, man, but that Rucho was so got close. Fiend. Okay, there goes Fiend. He's out. It's up to DB to win this 2v1. If DB wins this 2v1, they're going to the loser's final. They're knocking these guys out of the tournament. But Sack and Brujo have the best opportunity they've ever had to continue this set. What's it going to be? Oh. oh, misses the follow up. Not even off barely. screen. They're fighting for their tournament lives here. Brujo and Sack want to take this to game number four. DB, no weapons. This has got to be it. Yeah. They got him. They got him. Let's go. Not a clean sweep. I Brujo feel like you forgot and Sack are still in. <laughs> oh, well, I just love a good game five. Oh, yeah, that's you fair. Know? That's yeah, fair. I think game it five kind of like supersedes. Yeah, supersedes the bias. <laughs> <laughs> My bias can shift at any moment. We're keeping it's you guys on fickle. your toes. It's like, let's go. Game number four, the swap over to Xavier Woods, bringing in the new day, oh, working out really well did, for yeah. the blue team. We'll see if it can continue to work out as we get into game number four onto Shipwreck. Okay, and we are getting right into it. Here we go. Fiend and DB sticking with the same. The Xavier Woods definitely working out for blue team here. I feel like sometimes they get in some major scuffles there where like friendly fire goes down and everybody's okay with it. It's yeah. just like they just accept it as long like, as damage ew. is being done to the other <laughs> yeah. team. Oh, oh snap! Fiend. Sack's in trouble. Oh, he still my gets the goodness. touch. That was Brujo so with the close. Help. Oh, top of the map. Sack still fighting at Fiend, but the damage is being done. Sack the most damaged on the screen. The neutral sig not enough. Everyone's getting into kill range here. Uh oh, DB's in trouble. Oh, Sack. He's an okay. early neutral signature. Very clever by DB, and then he gets his dodge back just in time. Still touches. Still though, Fiend first oh, one to fall. Oh, tricky man, DB. He's he's done that more than a few times now, where he gets the obvious like this is a combo starter, and yeah. there is this is the true combo, and everybody knows I'm going to go for this, and then he subverts expectations. Switching targets really quick because he knows he's going to get punished for it, and gets a lot of damage out of it. Okay, hey, everybody teams, down to yeah. two stocks. Hit the side air onto Brujo. This one is going to be an even one. He beat the, the orb strings. Oh, my goodness. All right, Sack is extremely damaged, but he is still dishing it out. <laughs> that, was, that was a lot of damage, but he's still alive. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, no. I can't survive that one. DB with a neutral light. Even if it didn't uh, lead directly to the KO box, he was sweating, so he had no movement at that point. Brujo trying to make up for it, throws out the side sig, but red team starting to run away with it. The ground pound, uh -oh. and Whoa. DB's gonna fall. Sack, that was amazing. They needed that. And Fiend's in trouble, uses his dodge really early. That's a recovery. Side air, There's and no Fiend's way he out. Can make it back. Yeah. He team combo done. immediately from the blue oh, team. Oh, that's so good, but the killing blow oh, is no. just barely missed. Oh, no, Sack is hitting his what? teammate and for Brugio, days. Brujo goes down for it, but Sack he's got another die. stock. Don't let Sack die. No. He's going to fall. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. Unbelievable. 
It didn't need to go down like that. He could have he could have made it back. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, don't lose hope yet, Rujo fans. But it all comes There's down to still, this stock. Yeah, he's still got a chance, but he's got to do it oh, now. Man. If he doesn't win this 1v2 and it and it's not looking good, uh, oh. then he and his team are out of the tournament. Fiend and DB make it to the lower finals. Let's go. Fiend and DB showing why. Uh, so many people praise them as such a dominant team. Yes. And they are going to be earning their spot in the top three to go against Haina and Hyper. Whoo, man. Let's go, Fiend. There's again DB taking sack with that, like, that was an that awesome was play. That was an awesome play. I think that's what I was reacting yeah. to at that moment. It's a highlight reel of uh, some of the big moments here. Beautiful follow up there, man. These guys are just highlight machines. It's interesting. Oh, that's, that was really <laughs> unfortunate that's for Brujo, man. Uh, it's interesting. Fiend and DB, they don't show that they have like a practice team combo, but they have really good improv skills. Like yeah. they, they definitely know yes and. Yes, for you improv people. <laughs> <laughs> I totally thought you were going to go, yes, and. <laughs> oh, that would have been really clever. TWK would have got on that. <laughs> he also would have hit us with some Greek mythology, though. So, you know, <laughs> a little bit of everything. <laughs> but now we're getting into He's our time. <laughs> <laughs> Kaida and Hyper uh, are now in the lower bracket. They're hot off a loss. Fiend and DB hot off a win. So a little bit of momentum. They got that momentum going for them. Yeah. Let's yeah. see. Let's see if they can carry that on into victory. I sure hope.